Constitutional carry, meaning carrying a handgun without a license, is set to take effect later this year. That's our top story tonight. Now, Governor Abbott signed gun legislation into law last week, specifically the permitless carry bill. News West 9's Rachel Rip spoke to local gun shop managers and law enforcement to find out how they're reacting to the easing of rules surrounding guns. Rachel. Good evening, Jonathan. Both parties I spoke with say they're excited that there are no longer infringements on your right to bear arms, but both are putting a heavier emphasis on safety. You find everything okay? Gun shop owners in West Texas are thanking Governor Abbott this weekend. It's something that I've been waiting on for, you know, the past decade since I first started getting into guns. If you're 21, you no longer need a license to carry. There are some restrictions on top of that, you know, uh, there are certain class A misdemeanors you can't have been convicted of in the last five years. Uh, no misdemeanor crimes of domestic violence. You know, obviously if you're a felon, you still can't carry. As for how they think it'll affect business, I don't think I'm going to be selling any more handguns uh, after 2020. Um, I think everybody who wants a handgun has one. Uh, that was just a, a crazy year for us. Uh, I imagine I'll sell some more holsters, uh, but other than that, I don't really expect it to impact business too much. SK Arms says they've sold about 12 so far this week. They believe this law will give more opportunity to working class citizens. Even if you uh, want to uh, disregard the Second Amendment or have a different interpretation of it. Um, having, a, having a license, having fees, that is going to disproportionately remove rights from lower class individuals. But overall, they say safety is emphasized and always should be. I'm pushing training more now because now it is even more obvious uh, why people would need it. Um, but I, I really should have been doing it this whole time. Now, after talking with law enforcement at the Ector County Sheriff's Office, here's what Sheriff Griffiths had to say. They're emphasizing more safety. I would prefer, he says, quote, I would prefer that all the good citizens who choose to carry a weapon on them would go through a training class and be very familiar with the firearm they choose to carry, end quote. And then he goes on to say that there are a lot of bad guys who don't care about your safety. So he supports the permitless carry law. Now, just a reminder, this law doesn't go into effect until September 1st of this year. Reporting live in Midland, I'm Rachel Ripp.